Rapid Sequence Intubase and Detail Presentation Presented by Anesthesia with Babar In this presentation I will explain one by one. What is Rapid Sequence, Intubation, Indication, Contraindication, Preparation for Rapid Sequence Intubation Patient evaluation, pre-medication, pre-oxygenation, induction, position, and protect the patient. Rapid sequence intubation. A technique of inducing general anesthesia so as to reduce the risk of pulmonary aspiration of gastric contents. An induction agent is administered, immediately followed by a neuromuscular blocking agent, example succinylcholine or rocuronium, to quickly render the patient unconscious and facilitate airway management. Pressure is applied to the cricoid area to compress the esophagus, reducing the risk of regurgitation. Indication Emergency surgery in which a patient has not been fasting. Patients with paralytic ileus or acute abdomen. Patients with significant REFLUX or achalasia cardia. Patients with acute trauma requiring immediate surgery. Women presenting for surgery in the last trimester of pregnancy. Contraindication. Patients with anticipated difficult airway. Situations where laryngeal injury may be present. Consider a wake intubation in these situations. Preparation for Rapid Sequence Intubation First prepare all necessary equipment and drugs, and have a backup plan. A working laryngoscope and different types of blades. A glidescope or other video laryngoscope may be desirable if a difficult airway is anticipated. Still at ETTs of the desired size. Device to confirm proper placement of ETT, example capnograph. Equipment for emergency tracheotomy slash cricothyrotomy where appropriate. Establish for access. Attach appropriate monitoring equipment. Patient evaluations. Evaluate the airway to rule out possible difficult intubation. Ensure that ventilation by face mask will not be difficult. Review possible contraindications to medications. Pre-medication should be used judiciously. These medications are used to prevent the adverse effects of endotracheal intubation. Midazolam, 0.02 to 0.05 mg slash kg. Use with caution in patients with head injury or who may need to be rapidly awakened. Fentanyl, 3 mg slash kg for 2 to 3 minutes prior. Pre-oxygenation, administer 100% oxygen for 3 to 5 minutes with a tight seal around the mask. If the patient is cooperative, 5 EE vital capacity breaths are nearly as effective. Induction. Rapidly administer an anesthetic followed by a neuromuscular blocking agent. Do not titrate medication to effect. Choose an induction agent. Etomidate. 0.3 mg per kilogram intravenous, ketamine, 1 to 2 mg slash kg intravenous, propofol, 1 to 2 mg slash kg intravenous, thiopental, 3 to 5 mg slash kg intravenous. Choose a neuromuscular blocking agent, succinylcholine, 1 to 2 mg slash kg rocuronium, 1 to 1.2 mg slash kg. Position and protect the patient. Position the head and neck into the sniffing position by FLXing the neck and extending the atlanto-occipital joint. Reposition the head if an adequate view of the glottic opening is not achieved. Apply cricoid pressure, Selix maneuver, after the patient has gone to sleep. Do not release the cricoid pressure until correct ETT position is confirmed. Wait for 45 to 60 seconds to allow full effect of the muscle relaxant. If the patient will tolerate apnea, 
do not ventilate the patient at this time to prevent gaseous distension of the stomach. Pass the ETT, visualize the tube going through the vocal cords. Establish that the ETT is in the correct position by clinical and capnographic mean. Post intubation care secure the tube and ventilate. This is all about rapid sequence intubation. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, like and comment.